Hey, what's up guys? We're going to talk about the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. These are some features that I wish was actually in the new iPhone and iPhone 6 that other manufacturers have and the iPhone should implement into their platform. And you guys can't argue with me that waterproofing your phone is necessary in, in 2014 with all other flagships like the Samsung Galaxy S5 Active uh, coming out there with waterproof and dustproof. That's what every phone needs. I don't care if you're Android, iOS, Blackberry. You should all make it a standard on your phones. When Android's making waterproof phones, you can basically take out and get a little bit water on it, a little bit dusty, and your phone's still going to work. That's probably the main reason why a lot of people have phone issues is the fact that their phone gets wet. So, waterproofing is one of the main reasons why I think the iPhone missed out this year. I don't really know why Apple, this is uh, a big pet peeve of mine too, I don't know why Apple doesn't use regular micro USB because sometimes when you're out and about with your friends and your friends have Android phones, Blackberries, Windows phone, and they go, hey, do you have a charger? And you go, what phone do you have? Oh, I have the iPhone 5, or I have the new iPhone 6 Plus. Or I, Sorry, dude, I don't have a, a, a cable that's going to charge your phone, because for the longest time, I would see friends come over, and they'd be like, dude, I need to charge my phone. I'm like, hey, I don't have a charger for it. I'm sorry. That's why I think Apple is uh, really downing their phones by not making their phones standard through all... Um, avenues because every platform out there even if it's a GoPro a Sony action cam they all use micro at USB so you can plug your phone in anywhere you go because everybody has that device to charge their phone even tablets everything has this and when you look at the iPhone they have a lightning cable yes the lightning cable can flip left or right you can it doesn't matter which way you can plug it in it'll still charge your phone but to be honest with you guys, who wants to have a weird cable? It should all be proprietary. Everybody should be standard. It was like back in the day when people had 2.5 millimeter headphone jack in their cell phone. And when you'd want to use your headphones, you had to get like this little adapter to plug in, which is really weird. I will say this, the iPhone out of most cell phones has some of the best video quality that's ever been put on a cell phone. They, they shoot very high cinematic video, 1080p, 30 frames a second. They have slow motion at 240 right now resolution, which is really slow motion. And the bad part is when you go to the front facing camera, they have a 1.3 megapixel camera when the HTC M8 has a 5 megapixel camera. And yes, the HTC phone isn't known for having really the best quality, but they have a wide angle lens on their front facing camera because they want their camera quality to be really good. And megapixels don't make the phone, okay? They don't make the camera, but 9 times out of 10, when you have a 1.3 megapixel camera, that's really bad. That's as bad as my old Blackberry from 2010. They had a three point what is it a three megapixel camera on the back and those uh pictures were uh really horrible one of the most things i can give to the iphone that tells you exactly what it is the iphone has the best apps the best gamings and the iphone has something that android and other platforms don't have they're the best when it comes to video editing on a mobile device and they're the best when it comes to recording you cannot get an Android device that has better recording software than an Apple product. I've tried multiple uh, recording software uh, applications on my Android device and when you actually use the same product on the iOS, the quality is bar none. So the Apple does the best when it comes to mobile recording and like recording on iPad, iPod Touch, iPhone. You can use iMovie. And on the iPhone, you have iMovie, GarageBand. You have nothing like that for Android. So that's one thing I'll give to Apple. They have the best apps. They run the smoothest. And they have the best recording app. So with that being said, guys, those are some reasons why I like Android over iOS. One of the main features, I think, 
the iOS platform is missing out on over their big huge phone the iPhone 6 Plus is multi window I think that's the best way to implement a big screen is to have multi split windows so you can have two apps open at the same time and you're using the real estate of that phone because if you're just being able to double tap the home screen and then it brings the screen down that's a cool feature I agree that's awesome you you basically bring the uh, top of the screen down to half the screen so you can do one handed use but I also think overall the best use for a big screen is multi split window and having the S Pen because you can draw on the screen you can take notes if you need to that is something I think Apple should have done with their bigger model. They should have implemented some feature that the iPhone 6 didn't have because the iPhone 6 is pretty much an iPhone 6 Plus, but just smaller. Do I think a lot of people are going to go out and get the 6 Plus? No, I don't because they look at it and go, that's a beast. I don't want to be carrying a tablet around. So, with that being said, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And what are some features iOS hasn't implemented into their phones that you want to see implemented? And what would get you to switch from your mobile OS over to iOS? So pretty much every OS out there can do everything the Apple iPhone can, but better. You have Windows phones. They, they have good web browsing. You have Android. Great web browsing. They have... Blackberry has decently good web browsing. So what does the iOS user love about the iOS experience? Let me know in the comment section below and I will totally talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.